Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to demonstrate how we can create an exported view using Rhino's 2D drawing features. Okay, let's start. We will use the model on screen to illustrate the process. Now I'm moving the various parts of the model to their intended location in the exported view drawing. I'm also adjusting the viewing angle of the perspective viewport because this will correspond with the resultant exposed view angle. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, once everything has been set up we can go to dimension 2d drawing select the parts press enter and at the 2d drawing option we need to set the view option to perspective the projection option to view and you might also want to enable some of the other options for example I would like to turn on the tangent edges and scene silhouette. Okay, I will not want to turn on the hidden lines. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. Okay, Rhino has generated the exposure view for us. Let's do an inverse height to hide the physical model. Now what I'm going to do is to delete away the unnecessary curves. Okay, maybe something like that, okay? Okay, the next thing that I need to do is to create a page layout. Okay, to do that, go to view, layout, new layout. Okay, and select the appropriate uh, printer output. Okay, in this case here, I want to use a cute PDF writer. Okay, I'm going to name this as a uh, exported view. Okay. Going to set the size to A3 and landscape, okay, and click OK. Okay, you can see uh, a new page layout called Exposure View has been created, okay. In order for us to go into the viewport editing mode, we must double click on the canvas, like what I'm doing now. This enables us to work with the 3D viewport. Okay. What I'm going to do is to add a title block. Okay. So I'm going to file, uh, import, and add a title block. something like that okay now I would like to scale the exporter view drawing okay the next thing that we might want to do is to label the various parts to do that you can uh, go to dimension leader okay and when prompted for the first curve point, uh, point to the location on the part that you want to add the arrow. Okay. Next point curve, maybe here. Okay, I want to draw a horizontal line 
over here so I'm going to press and hold the shift key for the next point curve okay and press enter okay now we can input our text label okay so I'm going to call this uh, clear cover and maybe uh, we can also change the text height so I'm going to change it to 5 and by clicking at the more properties we are also able to change the arrow size okay so I'm going to change the arrow size to 5 as well click OK yeah you can see we have created the first um, label okay let me adjust this a little bit okay I'm going to make a duplicate of this by pressing and holding the alt key and by double clicking on this uh, leader object we can open up the editing window again allowing us to change the text so I'm going to call this uh, top cover I'm going to repeat the same for this call this uh, bottom cover Okay, bear in mind that if you uh, need to zoom in and out of uh, this uh, page layout, you might have to toggle between the viewport editing mode and the uh, lock mode. Okay. With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope this will be useful to you. See you around. Bye.